Hi. Uh, you may remember me from such TV shows as. Uh, so today I want to go through the red wines in the discovery box. Basically, I've picked three red wines uh, and a white wine. So the first month of wines from Jackson and Seddon will go through on vlogs like this. So you can kind of see the wines, I can talk to them about them, you can hear Jackson ferreting around in the background. Um, but it'll give you some insight into the wine. So rather than me sending you tasting notes, which everybody does, um, I'm going to do this. So you'll have like a live interaction. So as there's updates, um, if you subscribe, um, once I do a new vlog, a new video, you'll be able to see the wines. And it's not just about wine, I'm also going to do vlogs on the things I do every day. Um, my life here in Tuscany, which is going to look funny because you don't see anybody vlogging, you don't see anybody with a camera kind of going, hey, look at me. So it's, I'm going to feel weird. You guys are going to experience me feeling weird, but hopefully it will look really nice because it's a beautiful place. Anyway, wine. So, three producers, three wonderful people. Um, we'll start with the Chilio Giorno. So, Chilio Giorno is uh, a grape grown here in uh, the Menemma region of Tuscany. Um, it's quite widely grown, it's used mostly as a blending grape, but some producers, two or three that I've found, uh, make a straight Chilio Giorno. Uh, it's quite a dark grape, so the wine has a real depth to it. Um, but in flavour wise, it's quite light. I find it it's quite easy to drink. It's not as heavy as like a straight Sangiovese. Um, it's an organic wine, uh, all of my wines are organic, they're either organic or natural or biodynamic, um, all wonderful and you don't feel so shady the next day when you wake up. I feel a bit shady today but we won't go into that. 13.5% red wine, drinkable, open it, give it a little bit of time, let it breathe aerate it, put it through an aerator. I'll put a link below for aerators. Anyone doesn't know what they are, they're great pieces of kit I have on home, love it. Um, decant it if you want. There's nothing to say you have to spend a fortune on wine to decant it. Decant your favorite wine and watch it change. Um, wine is a living, breathing thing and it needs oxygen. So all of these wines need a bit of air. They're, <gasps> they gasp for air as you open that bottle. That's what I think that sound. That sound for me is the wine going <gasps> gasping for air. So let them all breathe a bit. But this is made by a lovely lady called Simona. She owns a wonderful farm. It's beautiful. We're going to go there with our guests. Um, they're going to see it, have the lunch on, have lunch on their beautiful veranda. The most amazing view. They have a beautiful pool as well. I'm hoping they'll invite me up for a swim one day and we'll see. Um, but this is one of their wines. They do four or five other wines, which I will be introducing. I think in month three or month two, I'm going to do Simona's Syrah, so 100% Shiraz. But Today is about her Chile Giolo. It's wonderful, I really love it. I wouldn't be sending it to you if I didn't love it. Uh, that's the first one. I'll tell you about the turtle as well, next time. Number two, so this is Poggio Il Commissario, made by my friend Gregorio. Uh, it's a Sangiovese, Cab Sav and Merlot blend, so his super Tuscan as he calls it. Um, it's a great wine, it's organic, again, it's better the second day you've opened it. So again, it needs time to breathe. I would chuck it into decanter, chuck it through an aerator, it's great. Um, big, dark, kind of fruity flavours. Um, it does work better with food, but I like drinking it on its own. Uh, but I think this, is, this works well on its own. Doesn't need, it does need food, but you can go without. The chili giolo is the same. Have this with some, uh, some pork, some roast pork, knock your socks off, it'd be amazing. Don't forget, Somebody once said to me when you think about wine that pairs with food, the easiest way to do it is think about the food that comes from the same place as the wine. So around here there's loads of wild boar, so like you're not gonna go into going to the supermarket and say you've got any wild boar. They won't have it. But think about that kind of game not gamey meat, but your sort of your lambs, your slow roast lamb. This will work perfectly, that'll work perfectly, this will it's that kind of this region is synonymous for, for wild boar. So wild boar grows here, the wines made here go with wild boar. That's how you think about it. Anyway. This uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I love it, I love the label, I love the guy that makes it. I'm gonna do his straight Sangiovese is gonna be brought to the UK, his rose, his Vermentino, they're all wonderful wines. He makes wines that people want to drink that he wants to drink. He doesn't make wine for the market, he makes it so that you have a glass and you go, do you know what? I will have another. Um, top, top guy, saved my skin at Vin Italy this year, um, so love him for that. And lastly, still a little bit chilly because I've just taken it straight out of the cellar. Uh, this is Pavone, so this is Stavros, uh, who you saw on the TV show and a really good friend of mine. This is his 
Second wine. So this is aged in oak for two years, Sangiovese, um, and then aged in bottle. It's a absolute belter of a wine. It's again needs a bit of time. It's organic. It's close to a natural wine as you can possibly get without it being a natural wine. Uh, and we'll do some vlogs on that. So I explain what natural wines are and organic wines and copper and sulphur and demystify, as people say. But we'll get into that. This is probably. I would say up there is one of my flagship wines. I love it. Pavone is Peacock. It's a 2013. We're now 2017, so it's four years old. It was Asian oak for two years. Um, it's Sangiovese, so it, for some it might be a bit too tannic, which will dry your mouth out. Um, but give it some time, let it breathe. It's a little bit leathery, which also sounds odd, but it's a good thing. It's smoky. It's uh, amazing with food eat with it don't just drink it you need to eat with it whether it's some cold meats or some cheese this is what this needs it needs a little friend uh, food the you see them getting attacked now by bugs amazing outtakes love being attacked by bugs uh, Poggio and Commissario have it with food if you want I like it on its own and the chili giolo again you can have it on its own pair it with like I said roast pork or something um, but all of them wonderful wonderful wines and i want you to kind of try them and feedback put your your feedback in the comments below like i said subscribe to the page uh when i do more videos you'll see them it's not just going to be me sitting here talking about wine for people like eh, boring uh it's going to be me and captain hairy face the dog uh exploring and adventuring around tuscany um we'll do the white wine next week so you'll see the mixed case will be like that with a white wine in the middle uh which is coming over from marque which is bit of a drive but it's worth it trust me it's worth it uh, so that'll be the mixed case that's your red case that's month one and then when we do month two I'll do a vlog so all the people that bought a second month can see the wines that are going in so if you want to carry on following this you can follow it if you get excited when you hear me talking about wine because I love it uh, and you're passionate and you want to buy some then please join in if you don't want to you just want to watch your videos that's fine as well there will be some funny quirky stuff my life out here is mental so um, you just got to try and keep pace with it but that's it so the first three reds coming into the UK Pavone, Poggio il Commissario and Poggio Curzo um, but there you go all organic all uh, absolutely wonderful and uh, I hope you really enjoy them